Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. So it's been a little bit since I've uploaded a Dollar Tree haul. Quite honestly, my Dollar Trees have been slim pickings and um, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if my Dollar Trees are going to be part of the cut, but I noticed they're just not restocking the shelves and bringing the stuff in. So I haven't really hit many jackpots or anything like that that were worthy you know, of posting. So I have a little haul in front of me to share with you that at least I felt was, you know, haul worthy. And so if you care to see what I was able to score this time around, all you got to do is stick around. So this haul is in any particular order or it just would not be another one of my hauls. Um, however, I'm sure most of you have heard the rumors by now that Dollar Tree is planning on shutting down over a thousand locations. So, you know, it's a sad thing. Uh, not only that, but they're raising their prices. They're uh, placing scanners within the store you know, so that you can check the prices, I'd imagine, so that, you know, they won't be surprised when, you know, they get to the register or drive the workers crazy asking how much is this, how much is that. But, you know, back in the day, Dollar Tree used to be the only store that you can go in and never had to worry about asking what the price was because you already knew. Now it's not like that. Now they're trying to uh, resemble uh, Five Below and Dollar General because, um, you know, everything is three dollars, five dollars, four dollars. They still have some stuff for $1.25, but not much. Okay, so enough of my yapping. Right off the top here, this is a uh, a repeat purchase because these came out last year sometime, but they came out in such hideous colors. This time around, they had um, like a white and then an off-white sort of cream color, um, amongst other colors as well, but these are the two that I opted to get. I also grabbed a bag of these um, little treat bags just to to put as an addition to my already created baskets because I'm extra like that. After I make my baskets, I keep finding stuff. So I'm going to make little bags on the side. Okay, so let's dig right in here. I don't know where to begin. Um, let's start with this. Um, these are new sprays uh, to the Dollar Tree. They're from the Lucky brand and it's made with tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is very good for a lot of... Um, antifungal situations and so this is a foot spray so i picked up two of them and i'm hoping that they're promising because they have tea tree oil another new item that i found this time around was from the uh, home bright brand and it's called wrinkle away spray um this looked pretty promising i have high hopes for it as well i've never tried it before so we'll see but um it says it's in a linen scent and so yeah you spray this on your clothes and hopefully you have less wrinkles um i grabbed two packs of these little butterfly bobby pins just because i thought they were cute you know easter and stuff coming around um, I grabbed this little zippy cup because it's a little play on a game controller and my baby grandson, uh, he's a, he's a, he's a hilarious because he loves to play games and so they try to trick him and give him a dud control so that, you know, he could think that he's playing, but he's too smart now. He knows when to <laughs> he's able to control it or not, but I figured he'd get a kick out of this little sippy cup. Okay, then I found these here, um, disposable plates. These are from the uh, Spring Fling line. I love that uh, collection that Dollar Tree comes out with every year. I look forward to seeing all the organization bins and totes and everything because they come out in all these wonderful pastel colors. And so I saw them and I had to grab one of each, you know, color. They bring six plates in each and they're like a plastic. They're not paper plates. They're disposable, but they're not paper. And I figured, you know, this screams picnic or outside barbecue or whatever, springtime. I just love the little scallop edges. And so I had to bring those four home. Okay, this is a repeat purchase for me, but I grabbed two more of these uh, nasal inhalers, and this is from the uh, Salt Range brand, and they're pink Himalayan salt nasal inhalers, and I could attest 
to these because I have used them and uh, Vicks, Vicks inhaler has nothing on them. This is all natural, by the way, it has pink Himalayan saw, um, essential oils, and it really opens up those nasal passages. I mean, one little zap of this and you're good to go. It opens you right up. And so I love these. And every time I see them, I will try to reach and grab for at least one or two because they're worth the buy. Then these are two purchases that um, I thought were uh, good to grab at this trip, um, which was this uh, Pampa lemon juice from Concentrate. I bought this before because, you know, you always have uses for lemon juice. And then this, I could not wait to get into it. If you see it, it's opened already because I used it in a salad last night. But these are craisins and they're just dry cranberries and... Uh, yeah, need I say more? And it's from Ocean Spray, which is a name brand for a dollar twenty-five. These are not a dollar twenty-five at your local supermarket. So, yeah, I thought that was good. Then this is another repeat uh, purchase item for me as well. These are from uh, April Bath and Showers, the spa facial sponges. I like to use these as coasters in my car. You know, it keeps from. Um, it absorbs like the condensation on the cups when you go to put your cup inside the uh, cup holder. You know how it gets wet and these are so this, you know, it absorbs it. And so I like to put these in my car cup holders. Then reverting back to my earlier comment where I said that I'm extra and after I make my baskets that I find other things. So these are some of the additions that I'm going to be putting in those little treat bags and what these are are little mini uh, blind bags and they're called totally tiny and um, they're just little they have a little teapot a hot dog a pretzel it shows you you know to I'm just hoping that they're not a lot of repeats or multiples um, so I grabbed six because I have a granddaughter who you know those mini brands have her in a chokehold and she loves anything uh, miniature so I'm sure she'll get a kick out of opening these. And then um, for my grandson, um, I, I found this really cute uh, Easter basket. It was a Cookie Monster in the plus section. And so I got him one of those. And then I thought it was just, you know, spot on and only right to get the uh, Sesame Street characters to go with. And so I got Cookie Monster. I got a uh, Big Bird, Elmo, of course, and these come with this little, uh, they say that they come with a little bonus card. I guess that's the little card right there. I don't know what that's all about. I guess it tells you about, you know, each character, but I thought that was cool enough. So I got Elmo, I got Oscar the Grouch, and Abby Cadabby. So they all come with their little bonus card. I thought that was great. Then everything else is from the uh, health and beauty section. And we're going to go over that pretty quickly because it's a lot. Okay, starting off with two new finds were these uh, sharpeners by Sassy and Chic. And these are dual pencil sharpeners. You know, they have the big for the chunky crayon and then the small for like the eyebrow pencil. And you never have enough sharpeners when it comes to makeup. Then this was a totally new item that I had never seen before. And this is by Sassy and She. And this is a nail clipper. And this is cool because this is like the kind they use in the salons for the acrylic nails. And so, you know, I thought it would come in handy because sometimes you find a cute set of uh, press-on nails at the Dollar Tree, but they're not exactly, you know, your style or the length is too long and you just want to trim them down. These are a lot better than trying to do it with the regular nail clipper because the regular nail clipper kind of splits them in half. This, you get a precise, even cut with it. So I thought, you know, for that alone is good. Then this was also a new find that I had never seen before. And these are gel polish remover wraps. For those of you that like to do gel nails, I love my gel polish. And so this, you know, you wrap your individual nails in them and then, you know, it saves time. A lot of times if you go to the salon, they're charging you a fee to remove the gel and you can do that yourself at home and it'll save you the fee. So that's my thought on that. 
Okay, so I grabbed another bottle of this Le Mercerie Matte Finish Setting Spray. I love this stuff. I've bought it several times again, and it has not disappointed. And so every time I see it, I'm going to grab it. Um, it's been a while since I've used liquid eyeliner. I used to use this all the time, and then I switched over to the eye markers, and I have been loyal to the markers ever since. But back in the day, I used to love to use the liquid. I said, you know what, let me get one so I could try again. Then I got a couple of lip glosses just because, you know, you never have enough lip gloss. This one is hydrating lip gloss and it has hyaluronic acid and it's by Be Pure. And this is the color that it shows here on the little dot. So you can't go wrong with uh, something that has hyaluronic acid in it and anything that hydrates your lips is an A plus with me. Then I got this uh, floral tip uh, lip gloss just because, you know, it has the little florals inside and I thought that was cute. And then this is a juice bar lip gloss and I picked up this one in the watermelon scent because I love me some watermelon. Then Dollar Tree got in some new um, makeup brushes, which I was excited about because, um, you know, they always have the wet and wild ones, which no shade on the wet and wild because I love them and they work very well, but it's been a while since they come out with something new. So, okay, they had these sassy and chic ones and these are pretty big and it's kind of sturdy the plastic they had this um it's kind of like a sage green and white and this is like a lavender and white and it looks like the um here let me open it yeah so this is what it looks like and the brush is so soft guys i wish you could feel this the bristles i don't see any shedding and it just looks very so it doesn't say what it's actually for but i'm sure you could use this for contouring for blush for you know whatever whatever your makeup needs are um there's plenty of uses for these brush so i got just the one and one and then this i only found three of its kind so i'm assuming that you know they just have it as a trio set and so it's these three with the gold handle and this one looks more like a little eyeshadow brush and then this is like a concealer brush and then this one would be like a contouring or something like that so i grabbed those three and then last but not least i picked up two of these um bio blenders and these are from eagle tools guys so eagle tools at the dollar tree i'm like okay yes dollar tree and they're 100 percent biodegradable it's a little cleansing mitt to wash your face with and these are from eco tools as oh no these are from real techniques and so they have dollar tree is stepping up their game with the brand name brand eco tools and real techniques okay i'll take it so they have the real technique uh miracle sponge and this is just a uh, skincare sponge to wash your face and so it has the little you know the um texturized uh, little dots on the inside to scrub your makeup off your face and so i picked up three to see how that works out for me and that's it guys that will conclude this haul i hope you enjoyed i hope you've seen you something that you like and you might want to try and give it a shot and go out there and see if you can score um like i said my dollar trees have been slim pickings for a while i'm hoping that they'll get some new stuff in this haul by the way was not from one particular store i had to go to several stores in order to you know accumulate this much stuff because like i said you know they haven't really been bringing much in but hopefully you know they'll be bringing more stuff soon and i'll meet you back here in my next video don't forget to thumbs up like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys really soon bye bye